Hi guys, my name is Henry Johnston and today I'm going to teach you how to do a uh, cinematic title with embers in the background. All in After Effects, except for um, the metal texture that you need to get from Google Images. Alright, so let's get on the After Effects and uh, composition, new composition. And it doesn't really matter what it's called. And we're going to go to Layer, New, Solid. Make the solid um, uh, mid dark gray, like just mid gray. And there we go. And above it, we are going to put our metal texture, which you can get off Google Images, uh, JPEG or whatever picture file you like to use. And um, go to Track Mat if you're on the right, if you're on switches instead of modes, and activate Luma Mat. And then it has this. Um, metal texture background here. What we're going to do after this now um, is uh, give it our text layer. Actually no, we're going to give it our vignette. So we're going to go to layer, new, solid, make the solid black, and we're going to go to our ellipse tool or shape tool. If uh, you don't have the ellipse there automatically, just hold alt or option and just keep on clicking until you get to the ellipse tool, which is in the shape of an oval. So you just draw your vignette mask out and um, increase the size a bit of this it needs to be a little off screen too and uh, go to masks by pressing M and um, subtracting the mask now we're going to turn up the feathering by just turning up the feathering when you go under the mask section so okay that looks good um, now we are going to do our text layer. So we are going to do layer, new, text. Um, make the text color um, a mid red. In um, yeah, for the text color, and to give it like that um, old like looking like swords and sandals style like ember in the background title for like the cinema, I use a uh, Trajan Pro Three. So um, there's a different font you'd like to use than do it but I'm gonna use this so just type in your name or like like the title of your movie or something so I'm just gonna type in my name and what we're gonna do here is okay so yeah we got this here and we are going to uh, add the same metal uh, picture above here but we are going to use the luma mat and the problem is it has like the exact same texture as the middle background here. So an easy way to fix this is to increase the size of our uh, metal uh, picture and turn up the rotation so it has like a different look and different texture. All right, so now we are going to actually, no, let me align this at first. So we go to the align tool and you can get the align tool by going to window and just clicking align and it becomes one of your tools to the right. And now we're going to begin to animate our um, text. So we're going to go to uh, Henry or whatever you choose to do. And under um, this text, there's animate. And um, what you can do is you can animate uh, rotation. But it's not fully animated yet because it does this. And this isn't the effect we want to do. We don't want it to spin around like this. So. What we're going to do is we're going to add alongside of this property, enable per character 3D. And what this does is it allows us to um, make that Y rotation sort of thing that you see in like the cinema. So we're going to make... Uh, stupid computer. Uh, okay, so um, let me turn the rotation on the zero and 90 degrees. Actually, no, negative 90 degrees because... Uh, I just prefer to make it be a different rotation, like rotating to the right. So we're going to keyframe the Y rotation and go to about two seconds and put the Y rotation, the 3D Y rotation to zero. And then it does this. But the problem is, is since it's in, uh, here, go to my click tool, since it's in uh, 3D, you can still see them at first because it's like in 3D space, so like it like it's giving like that one point perspective in the center of uh, this whole composition. So an easy way to fix this is uh, clicking on your text, pressing T for opacity, 
and uh, turning the opacity down to zero, keyframing that, and going to like five frames and turning the opacity up to 100. So then it just looks like it like fades into a rotation. So then it does this. All right, this is where things start getting more complicated. What happens now is um, we are going to add a light layer. So we're gonna to go to layer, new, light. Make the light a spotlight. And um, yeah, so we're going to And what we're going to do is we're going to give it like that nice like revealing effect with the spotlight. So we're going to uh, go under our light layer and uh, under transform. We're going to make the point of interest. Um, yeah, so the point of interest is going to be um, way down here, away from the light. So if we go here and like the text is revealed, the text is in black because the spotlight isn't revealing it. So we're gonna keyframe the point of interest and go to about um, one and a half seconds and go to like 540. And then it has like this nice light reveal, cinematic light reveal here that looks really nice that you'd see out of like any cinema movie. And now what we're going to do here is we are going to add in the sparks that you see, the embers. So we're going to go to layer, new, solid, make it a black solid. And we are going to place this black solid behind um, our text. And it may look like um, just it's ruining the background, but it's not. We get an effect, a simulation, and CC particle world. And it makes like this um, particle thing. So we're gonna turn the birth rate to 0.1. And uh, now we're gonna open, oh, turn up the longevity to like uh, 15 seconds. And now we're gonna go to producer, uh, change the position of X down to here, and um, just put the position Y down a little bit. Um, yeah, about like 0.5. D and uh, point 0.1 and then um, we are going to make a uh, radius of y large really large and um, the radius of x a little big and uh, the radius of z big too but actually we should make the radius of x large as well so like the particles are launching there and what we're going to do now is we are going to uh, go to physics and uh, keep the velocity the way it is, but make it zero gravity. And now it's like launching out this way. Except that's... Um, actually, no, you don't make it zero gravity. You have a, just a little bit of gravity, like point, like point three. No point, th yeah, point three oh, no point oh three gravity. So then it has this, but we're not done yet. This is just a little bit of the spark so far. So now we go to a particle, keep it line, cause that's like the closest thing you'll get to the embers and uh, make the birth color um, this, uh, oh, no, not that dark orange, but orange like this and keep the red and um, and then it has this. And now what we do here after this is now we're um, is we're done with um, the uh, particle world. So now we're going to go to effect, stylize. We're still on the black solid for the particle world, but we go to stylize, glow, and uh, then we add another glow to because um, the glow isn't really that strong yet because the particles are so small, and um, we. This. And uh, then it does this. And you see these like embers flying in the air while the um, while the title's getting revealed. And 
it's a really nice cinematic effect that you would see in movies today. And uh, the final part um, to make this uh, convincing is uh, go to toggle switches and modes and um, Henry is in, uh, or just whatever the text is called, it's in 3D. So what you do here is you go to layer, new, camera. And what we're gonna do here is, um, okay, so yeah, this is the particles. So I would make the, actually, yeah, no, never mind, forget that. Um, Yes, it, with light sometimes you gotta be careful with like activating 3D layers because it can like screw up the whole thing. So just keep the text layer 3D. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to um, get the position, keyframe the position, and we are going to get to the very end right here. And And we are going to, whoops, not nuts, okay. All right, just a second. Okay, that's about a good size uh, to zoom in on. It doesn't have to be the exact same size, but it has to be like a significant change in like the size of the text. And uh, the final thing that we're gonna do here is we are going to, um, Go make a new composition, comp two, uh, go to the project panel, get comp one. This just makes things more simple so you don't have to like turn down the opacity, the keyframe the opacity for all the layers. So we're gonna go to um, nine seconds, T for opacity, keyframe the opacity to at 100% and make it go down to zero. So now we got this nice zooming in text effect that you would see in movies with the nice metal background with and the embers flying and it's a really nice title so this is the end of this tutorial and i will see you guys next time when i make other tutorials uh, like and subscribe if you like this video because there will be more videos that are involving after effects